Hello everybody, Plasma Health here. We are making a video today about how to make a copper spiral. And this copper spiral has some specific properties. This one I have already made, as you can see. The turning of the copper is clockwise, which means it draws the energy in from this side and pulls it out on that side. If we would turn it around and use it like that, it will do the opposite. It will bring it in here, and put it out there. Um, I'm going to show you how to make this. It's fairly simple. And what I've done already is I've uh, taken some measurements and what we do is we use a 39.3 centimeters, which is a cubit length, or in inches it's 15.5 inch. This is for the American audience and the English audience who want to make it as well, of course. Um, the stripping is the first part. I'll put it flat on the table. I have this little cutting knife. I put my hand on it, make sure it doesn't slide off. And I strip it like this in one go. I take the tip off. Turn it off, and here I have one copper wire. I will do this one more time, so you can see. I will do a little variation. So now instead of putting my finger on it, I'm holding both. I'm putting my knife here, and now I'm pulling the wire underneath the knife. There you go. Stripping it again. This piece has not been done, but if you just pull it, it comes off pretty easy. Hoppa. I do have the experiences, experience that if you do this 20 times, your fingers will get a bit sore, but hey, we make plasma stuff, so then we heal it very fast after we got some pain. Isn't that amazing? Okay, here I have two who are going to be transformed into this. I'm going to use this plier. It does not have any uh, grip on the inside, so you will not damage the copper. And the tip is fairly small. Why that is important, I will show you. What we need to do is we need to get half of the copper wire. You can do that either with your eye, like make an estimate about here. Or if you want to make sure it's exactly the same, I put a little mark here so I can put it down and then I know that this is the middle. Okay, I'm going to start with the first action now. It's in my right hand, copper wire is in the middle. I'm going to put it close to the tip because then you'll make sure that the inside of the spiral is going to be a small turn. I'm going to fold it over to the other side. And now as you can see, it's not completely the same because I have to make a turn here, which is the difference you see here. Okay. Now I'm going to take it out. I'm going to turn it around so it's on my left side. I do that because I'm right-handed. If you're left-handed, you might want to do it the other way around. I got it fairly uh, tight now, and I'm going to bend the lower one down. And I'm going to bend the upper one over the lower one. So now we got the first turn. I'm going to spin this around and keep going with this until I have my first turn. And here you can see that the start of the center of the spiral is made. I'm going to do it a bit more and I'm going to do the rest by hand. I will do a second one and show you how to do it with your pliers if your fingers are not that strong. Now I'm going to turn this around, so I've got both of them on the right side. I'm going to hold this tight here in the middle. 
and I'm going to bend this over the other one and this one the same. You can't see it because I'm using my fingers to make sure that it stays on the other copper wire so that spiral is going to be tight. I'm going to continue with this. I'm going to continue with this. This is a this is a um, wire which is two and a half millimeters square, which is pretty thick. So if you just started practicing this, look for a one and a half millimeter square wire, which is a bit thinner, and it's easier to bend. So now we have the spiral quite round. It looks good. And I'm going to use my plier to make the copper wire in the end go outside. We feel it brings in and transports energy better that way. That's why we do this. And here we go. I'm going to cut the tips a bit to make sure they're equal. And here you go, clockwise or anti-clockwise. Now let me do the same one again, a bit quicker, and I'm going to do it with a plier so you can see how to do that. I'm going to do it on the eye, so I'm not measuring exactly the half. So you will see, you can work with that. Well, I've got exactly the same distance now, so my eyes are good. Turning it around, putting it on the tip, holding it now, bending the lower one underneath, the other one over it on top. Keep bending until they're round. Now we got a good start. I'm going to hold it here. I'm going to start with the lower one. I'm going to bend them and turn the plier as I'm going around. You will notice when you do this that the effect of the spiral is more tight. The wire is going to be more tightly connected to each other. I'm having a bit more difficulties with this one because I never do it with the plier. I always do it with the hands. And it's a mess. Well, copper is great because you can always work with that. I'm just going to continue. It's also nice to see when something is not working really well, so you can see how much you can mess it up and how you can control it again. I'm going to finish the last part with my hand because this one needs to make a full turn. There you go. There you go. Turn around again. We're getting to the end. Making the ends flat a bit. I'm gonna bend it again. That's one. This is the other. Cut it. Correcting it a bit where necessary. And there you go. Spiral number three. Eight more to go. Good luck with it and thanks for watching.